So this solar array is a 10 megawatt AC array. What that'll do is that's the equivalent of uh, enough power to power 3,000 homes. Um, in order to get to that 10 megawatts, there's over 7,500 piers that are be driven, being driven into the ground. And that's over 42,000 solar panels that will be generating the power. It's the first solar array of its kind for Colorado Springs utilities that will benefit all Colorado Springs customers. We're using single axis trackers here for this solar array. What will happen is the solar panels in the morning will wake up and face directly to the east and they'll track with the sun all the way to the west in the evening. That way we get the most production out of the solar panels that we can throughout the day. As you can see, the site has changed significantly since our April 5th groundbreaking ceremony. We have all of our piers driven. What you see behind me is Power Block 1 and Power Block 2, which represents about half of the solar array. The piers are now all driven in this site, as well as almost done in the other sites. Uh, the slew gear is starting to be mounted for single axis trackers. For the next steps, our Kyler Springs Utilities crew is finishing off the distribution line. and Within a week or two, we'll see solar panels being mounted on the infrastructure. That should take about three to four weeks. And once those panels are mounted, then we're very close to beginning to do the acceptance testing for the solar array. We expect the array to be completed sometime in September with commissioning happening sometime mid-October. As part of our renewable energy portfolio, this array will contribute 10 megawatts of renewable energy credits. And one of the reasons it's important for us to complete the array by the end of December of 2016 is this array will qualify for a three times multiplier for solar renewable energy credits.